In this video, we are going to discuss very important problem related to jet transforms. This is a previous gate problem given in 2003. So, it seems like very big problem. You can see how simple this is. So, but this type of cases are very important. It seems to be very typical, but uh, it is having very small solution. So, the sequence x of n with z transform x of z is equivalent to z power 4 plus z square minus 2 z plus 2 minus 3 z power minus 4 is applied to an uh, is applied as an input to a linear time invariant system for an LTA system with impulse response h of n is equivalent to 2 del of n minus 3 the output at n is equivalent to 4 is what they are asking. So, they have an LTA system with him impulse response h of n this h of n is given. So, they are exciting this system by x of n, but x of n is not given the transform of x of n is given and what is the output, what is the output y of n at n is equivalent to 4. First we need to find out y of n after that we need to substitute n is equivalent to 4. The process for this is generally y of n is equivalent to x of n convolution with h of n input convolution with impulse response. But convolution is somewhat typical. So, that is why I am processing in frequency domain. So, convolution in time domain leads to multiplication in frequency domain. So, h of x of z is given, h of n is given by taking z transform to that we will get h of z. So, by multiplying that and after reverting, after taking inverse z transform we are going to get y of n. So, you, you are having a x of z that x of z is multiplied with h of z and finally, you will get some value for y of z and in that for that value to get y of n again you are taking inverse z transform of y of z. So, you are getting value of your signal in that value you are going to substitute n is equivalent to 4 this much procedure you need to follow. But if you know a simple technique if you know a simple note about this problem you can easily complete this problem. So, here they given h of n is equal to 2 del of n minus 3. So, that is the key point to this problem the h of n value only we have at del is equal to n minus 3 means at n is equal to 3 only when you saw del function that is having only value at only one instant of time. If that is del of n, so we are having value at n equal to 0. So, if they given n minus 1, then this is equal to 1 at n is equal to 1 only. At this places only these functions are having value. Here also h of n is given as 2 into del of n minus 3 that h of n is equal to 2 at n is equal to 3. In all other cases h of n value is equal to 0. At n equal to 3 you will get del of 3 minus 3 del of 0 value is 1 2 into 1 2. In all other cases your shifted del function will show you 0. So, for example in this convolution if you are having so many values of x of n even though you are having so many values of x of n, our h of n is having value only at n is equal to 3. But what they are asking? The output at n equal to 4 they are asking. For example, if you calculate it and if you substituted n equal to 4, you are supposed to get 0. Why? Because in the impulse response of the system itself, at n is equal to 4, the impulse response of the system is 0. If the impulse response of the system is 0, how will get the output? If the response of the system is 0, how will we will get the output? We are not going to get the output. So, that is the key point for this problem. Without doing this lengthy procedure, we are going to get the solution as 0 if you know del of n minus 3 is having value only at n is equal to 3, but they are asking the output the response of the system at n is equal to 4. 
so at n is equal to 3 only at that discrete instant of time only this system shows the response when n is equal to 4 the system is not going to show any response why why because at that n is equal to 4 the impulse response of the system is equal to 0 if the impulse response of the system is equal to 0 or input of the system is equal to 0 what are the cases that we will get 0 output whether we are not giving any input or whether the impulse response is 0. In these two cases, we are going to get 0 as our response. For example, if x of n is equal to something like this and h of n we are having some other value. In that case also, whenever you saw del function, only one instant of time you are having value. So, here at n is equal to 4, definitely your y of n without calculation we can say this is equal to 0, the response of the system is equal to 0. We cannot see any response from the system. For example, if they are asking any other value, any other value, no, not any other value, if they are asking at n is equal to 3, then definitely you just need to do this procedure. That means, you need to process in frequency domain for easy calculation and after that you need to convert into time domain once again after converting into time domain you need to substitute the particular instant of time in the time domain signal. So, then only you are going to get. So, but here when n is equal to 3 is not given definitely no need to calculate everything. So, y of n is equal to 0. So, here at n is equal to 3 only your process is going to be calculated. Like this way we need to answer this type of gate problems by simple tricks.